Hi, are you looking to start a non-emergency medical transportation service, but don't know where to begin? Today, I'm giving five essential tips to get you started. Hello, I am Melina. I am a NEMT startup coach. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for your continual support. Here on this channel, the goal is to equip new entrepreneurs, secure a firm foundation, not just in NEMT, but also in business success in general. Over the past few months, I have focused on content on how to start up a NEMT in differing states. I am finding the general information is the same for the majority of states. So what I am doing today is providing five essential steps to start you on your NEMT journey. This way, I can focus on state specifics for our community. Before we get started, I want to send a shout out to one of my coaching students, Jonathan Tapers. He has successfully begun the startup process for his company, J&K's Prompt Transportation. Please go over to his Facebook page and send him a warm congrats. Leave his link in the description box below. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share this content so other NEMT entrepreneurs can find the resources they need to get started. Now, let's get started on the five objectives required to start a NEMT. Conducting market research to determine the demand for NEMT services in your area is the most important step you will take in deciding how you are going to enter the transportation market. For example, some states such as South Carolina have an overabundance of ambulatory vehicles. In these areas, only wheelchair and ambulance vehicles are being approved by the number one broker mode of care. So for example, Understanding this market information would help you to decide if you will enter the market either by wheelchair or ambulance vehicles in the state of South Carolina. Developing a business plan is equally as important as conducting market research. In actuality, market research is a part of a well-prepared business plan. A business plan will outline your goals, strategies, and financial projections. Ultimately, this will help you secure funding, set realistic expectations, and stay on track. If you need help developing your business plan, I offer a fully editable template in my Etsy store. The third step relates to legally establishing your company as a corporate entity. There are several ways to set up your company. Please make sure to thoroughly research each entity structure thoroughly and choose the best one for your situation. Also, ensure you have obtained all the necessary business licenses, insurance, and certifications to operate your NEMT service legally. If you need help, consult a tax professional or attorney. I do want to point out here that in most states, a certificate of need, either from your state's Office of Transportation or Healthcare Regulatory Office, may be required to operate as an NEMT. These last two essential steps deal with purchasing or leasing vehicles that meet the needs of your clients while complying with safety regulations. We will also discuss briefly hiring and training qualified drivers. When purchasing a vehicle, always consider the number of passengers you will be transporting, the types of medical equipment you may need to accommodate, and the wear and tear on the vehicle over time. When hiring, hire drivers who are compassionate, reliable, and knowledgeable about medical transportation. Conduct background checks, drug tests, and driving record checks to ensure the safety of your clients. 
Starting a NEMT service can be a rewarding and profitable business venture, but it requires careful planning and execution. If you need help getting started, I would be happy to assist you. You will find a link on how to purchase a coaching session with me in the description box below. If you want to start your own non-emergency medical transportation service, these are the five important steps you need to take. Make sure to do your research and create a business plan. Get the right licenses and insurance. Find reliable vehicles and equipment. Train your drivers and staff. And finally, do your market research to better serve your potential clients. By following these essential steps, you can start a successful NEMT service and help people get the medical care they need. So get started today and make a difference in your community.